all right so right now i want to make a little adjustment okay on this i love to come down by one inch so i have this appropriately from the center uh, i love to come down by one inch so we have the the cup sits appropriately you can see it's curving and it's curving okay so that's how i like to make my princess that so i'm no longer going to this is actually hanging to me so i'll now measure my, my one inch from the armhole line here so i'll just go in by one inch from the armhole and then reconnect to the okay so i'm no longer going by this line okay so if you look at this you can see it's actually coming in for us so we want to talk about the illusion so the illusion line starts from the neckline and stops at the under bust line so on the uh, chest line okay and it even goes beyond the uh, under bust it's actually uh, a big illusion it runs all the way to the under bust. So on the bust point now, I'll just come in by 1.25. So when I open up, I'll have 2.5 for my illusion. So I'll come in with my pattern ruler and I'll place like this to have that illusion. So I want to check the distance I have. Sorry, I place it to the neckline. This is the neck line so i keep adjusting to the neckline okay so the distance i have from here to here i want to check what i have from here to here is four inches four inches so but to me the illusion is actually looking so big so I might just come up a little from this point. I have my uh, this mark that is one inch above. I can do one inch above the under bust. All right. So my illusion is going to be on fold, and the width of the illusion is taken at the center uh, bust line. So on the bust point line, the illusion is at 1.25 and as it proceeds, it's one inch. As it is coming, as it keeps coming down, it reduces. So you might decide to make your illusion the way you wish to make that part. So this part remains on fold, as you can see right now. So we want to take the under bust measurement. So my under bust measurement, as you can see from the center front here, um, I'm working with under bust 38, which will give me 9.5. So whatever I have remaining, okay, I will impute 0 0.2, 0 0.25 here, and the rest of 1.5, because that is what I got on this line. So from the outer that length, I mark 1.5, and I mark 0 0.25. So I'll come in with my pattern ruler and continue this curve, okay? So you can see me continuing the curve. So you have to match this and this to the bust point. And then match this to this from here to the bust point. So next is to connect what I have from here to here. And connect what I have from here to here and we are done okay that is the upper body's pattern for you so the next I will do is to cut and add my necessary seam allowance now I'm going to cut off this I'm going to join back I want to make it in a way the neckline will be joining back so I'll just pretend doing this I pretend doing this as if I'm I want to make a, a yoke a yoke sweetheart neckline you can see what I just did so my
strap is going to run I'm going to cut my strap into like this into the armhole and join it back so all of this is my strap right away as you can see okay so you can also decide to make your strap straight you can decide to make your strap straight and cut off while you have all of this okay into the bodies you can decide to go by this line so it's all your choice so we are having so many lines sorry about that so by the time we cut it will be clearer to you so i'll go over to the back so coming over to the back i drafted that less okay so i go by that less and contour my line and i still have what i want so my waist i'm cross checking my waist and my bust and they are correct so i'm going to contour by 0 0.75 so this is my 0 0.75 contour line at the back length waist. I'll connect it all the way to the neckline. And I'll come in with my strap. Okay. There's going to be a strap. The same width of strap we had at that point. We are also going to have it at this point at 1.5. I'll keep marking. I'll keep marking. Okay, so this is my strap line, and the strap line is going to guide what my neckline is going to be. So since the neckline is deep at the front, I would want it to be um, not to be too low, but it depends on you. You can also make it too low. So I'll just work with um, three and a half inches. Okay, so if I start from the shoulder line, I have four and a half, four and a half. So I mark it up to the strap line, and then I can also make a U a shape a, a neck back neckline. Okay, so something like this is okay. If you want to come a little bit higher, 